Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to create camera motion templates in Adobe Premiere Pro. So, what that means is it'll give us the ability to take an adjustment layer, drop it on our footage, then go over to our presets and then just drag a sort of a motion into it. So for example, I could drag this in here and then you'll see that it does that quick zoom in and zoom out. Now that zoom in zoom out was not a part of the footage. It was just a part of this sort of motion that we created. So now I can drop these wherever I want and I can recreate the motion. It's great for if you do like vlogs or documentaries or anything where you need to mimic camera motion sometimes to sort of enunciate a point, you can do that by saving the preset and then saving yourself a whole bunch of time because then you can just drag and drop the preset on, trim down your adjustment layers, and then you have this sort of ability to add this camera motion wherever you want. So that's what we're gonna be going over today. Let's get started. First thing we need to do is to just have an adjustment layer created. Just go down here for new item and then go to adjustment layer. Then we're gonna drag that anywhere on our footage. So let's drag it to the back end. And then we're going to create the actual motion on top of this adjustment layer. So all we need to do is really create the motion and then we just save the motion and then that's sort of the effect. So if we go into effects, we wanna search for a motion or an effect called transform. We're gonna drag this onto our adjustment layer. Now the reason we use transform instead of just the effects up here is because these are the effects for the adjustment layer itself. So for example, if we reduce the scale, it would make the adjustment layer only affect this right here. We don't wanna do that. We want to apply an effect to everything beneath it. So whenever we apply the transform effect to the adjustment layer, it's now an effect, which means it's gonna cascade down to whatever's beneath it and does exactly what we want. So let's go ahead and do sort of a quick zoom. We're gonna go scale right here. I'm gonna move forward maybe 10 frames and then I'm just gonna zoom it in a, a bunch. Something that, you know, a pretty, pretty widely used use case. Maybe you wanna sort of accent something. So you wanna sort of do this quick zoom in and I don't think it moved forward. So yeah, create a keyframe right here. Move forward one, two, ten 10 frames. I'm holding shift key so that it goes five at a time. And then go to about 166. And there we go. Now we have a little bit of a zoom. So the next thing we want to do is I'm going to uncheck this and drag up for some motion blur. So you'll notice whenever we go here uh, to where the motion is happening, if we drag this forward, you can see that there's more or less motion blur. We want to create maybe, maybe about that much motion blur. And that's looking pretty good. And now what I wanna do is I actually just wanna to go to this back end. So if we drag this in, it'll shrink this timeline so we can actually see the, um, the keyframes. I'm gonna right click on this one and I'm gonna go to easy in. And what that does is it changes the motion so that it starts off fast, this is the velocity, and then slows down as we get to it. And so now we have a sort of a smooth pop zoom right there. And so that is the effect that we wanna create and we wanna save this animation. So this is how to just save the animation. It's really easy. Right click on transform, go to save preset. And then now we wanna anchor it to the end point so that whenever we drop it onto any more adjustment layers, it goes straight to the beginning of the adjustment layer and we don't have to try to find it wherever um, it is throughout the, the adjustment layer. So we're gonna go to here, we're gonna go to transform preset and then we're just gonna rename this to maybe pop zoom. Click okay. And then you know, it'll be saved in your presets just as a effect by itself. I created a personal um, folder here. You can right click and hit new presets bin and then just give it whatever name you want. I named it personal and now I can drag it in there to just keep everything organized. And then now you'll see that I have everything that I've created in here and we have the pop zoom. So all we need to do now is just go to uh, back into our, our project manager and find any adjustment layer drag it onto wherever we want the pop zoom to happen. So let's say we want it to happen at the front now. Go to right there. And then what we need to do is just go into our effects, go to that pop zoom and drag and drop it on. And it will do exactly that. You'll have this pop zoom wherever you need it. And then you can just cut down the back end so it isn't all over the place. And then you could, you know, alt click this and drag it and create more of them or uh, have different effects. but sort of the, the, the basis of this is just being able to take this motion and being able to save it wherever we want to save it um, and then being able to reapply it really, really quickly by saving it as a preset. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you wanna see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and that subscribe button and make a video every other day on Adobe related products. And until next time guys, see ya.